We continue talking about graphing quadratic equations. But this time we're going to change, and what we're going to look at, quadratic functions, what we're going to look at is when f of x equals a number times our x squared. And so this is going to have a couple of ramifications, but first of all, notice that, that we're not shifting left or right because there's nothing in parentheses, and we're not shifting up and down because there's nothing added after. What we're doing instead is taking our default pattern of 1, 3, 5, and we're changing it according to whatever a is. So let's just get our graphing plane. I want a lot of room on this one. And let's let our default graph f of x be on here again, f of x equals x squared. So we start at 0, 0, and we go over 1 in both directions and up 1. We go over 1 more and up 3. And so here is our basic graph. And what we want to do now is let g of x be 1 half x squared. So it's going to grow half as quickly. So instead of going up 1 and up 3, it's going to go up 1 half and up 3 halves. So it's going to go over 1, up 1, half. Then over 1 and up 1, 2, 3 halves. So notice it's going, growing half as quickly. In other words, the 1 half has made it kind of squishy. It's not moving quite as nicely as it did before. Well, let's let h of x be 2x squared. So it's going to grow twice as quickly. So instead of being plus 1, plus 3, it's really going to be plus 2, plus 6. So it's going to go over 1 and up 2, because it's going to be doubled, and over 1 more and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now it has the same reference point, but it's nice and skinny because it's growing faster, so we get to see less of it. And let's look at t of x. Let's make this a minus 1 half x squared. So it's going to do the same thing that the 1 half did, and it's going to grow half as slow. But instead of going up, it's going to go down. So it's going to be a minus 1 half and minus 3 halves. So over 1, down a half, and over 1 more and down 3 halves from its last point. And so now it's doing this. And if we let u of x be minus 2x squared, same thing. It's going to go twice as quickly, but it's going to go down instead of up. So it's going to be minus 2, minus 6. Oops, we don't want to do this. Let's do this one in orange this time so we can tell the difference. So this one is orange. And so the takeaways from this is that our pattern really isn't 1, 3, 5. It's really the y pattern is really a, 3a. And a is whatever number is in front of the parentheses. And I'll show an example of this in just a moment just to emphasize how we can combine these pieces together to get their goal. But the last thing we want to look at, again, our domain is always minus infinity to infinity, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I do want to talk about the range. Here it's 0 to infinity because it's going up. This one's 0 to infinity because it's going up. Our purple is also going up, so it's 0 to infinity. This is all range. But for our red line, it's going down because of this negative. So it's really going from minus infinity to 0. And so is the orange one. And so our range is from k to infinity if a is positive, but if a is negative, then it's minus infinity to k. And so that's how we get our range based on our a value.